All right, welcome everybody to our Wednesday Night Freedom Union call. I'm not gonna take much time introducing our speaker tonight. Um, I'm sure most of you know her. She is one of my personally sponsored coaches, Catherine. I'm super excited to have her on with us. We met almost two years ago in a gratitude group that I ran and a few short months after that, she became a coach and one of my good friends. She just brings so much love and light to this team and in her social media and everybody that follows her um, and that she helps. I'm just so excited to have her speak tonight. So I am passing it on over to you. Take it away, sister. Thank you, Ashley. Yes, um, I became a coach February 2015 and um, Really, Beachbody coaching seriously impacted my life in such a massively positive way. I had, I just wanted to help give back to others. And it has just been one of the best things I've ever done. <laughs> so I'm glad to be here and thank you for jumping on. I know we're at the end of the month and um, so I'm going to try and keep this really sort of short because I know our time is super valuable and I know I'm not quite at success yet and I still have to hustle and I know that you guys that are maybe close and just about there you you kind of want to hustle too right so I'll try to make this pretty quick and what I've done is um, actually typed out uh, a blurb on what I'm going to talk about tonight but I haven't like memorized it or anything else so I'm going to be looking at it it's on my computer so excuse that <laughs> basically what I'm going to talk about tonight is um, don't worry about the haters. Um, we're all on social media, that's our business, most of it. A lot of, you know, we don't, we do do like in-person business related activities on occasion, but the majority of our business is social media. And so basically, this is what I wanna talk about. Don't worry about the haters. Hey, <clears throat> so one of the problems that emotionally aware and more introverted entrepreneurs face is the, reluctant, the reluctance to grow a large audience due to the perceived stress of being in the spotlight. I have found that most of the tension is a result of being concerned about the inevitable negative feedback and criticism that we get as our audience grows. So, <laughs> and I know I get that apprehension as well. Trust me, if you start getting thousands of new fans on your business page, business or like page, you will get the occasional crazy person pervert, toxic individual who is only um, on your page to cause a problem. This happens no matter how sincere your intention is or how good your content is. On my fan page, <clears throat> as well as my personal page, I get a few people a month who come on my pages and criticize my work or just spew negativity and vent their anger in a way that has nothing to do with me or the content on my page or my pages. I used to get pretty upset about this, but I realized that to keep growing, I had to be able to re, uh, had to be able to relate to this in a healthy way. And this is what I did. I set a strong intention that I would not give any energy to anyone who is only there to hate or be negative. Simply put, when this happens on my page, I just delete the post. I ban the person from my page and I move on. No problem, right? <laughs> this is what I recommend that you do as well. Do not engage with people who are only on your page to cause you problems. Don't defend yourself or your position. Don't allow yourself to take it personally. In fact, don't give them an ounce of your energy. Perhaps it's just send them a wave of compassion that they are in such a horrible, difficult place in their life where the only way they can assert their power is by denouncing and judging others. That kind of person is in a world of hurt and is suffering immensely. And even worse, they're letting all of your fans know just how much they're suffering. It's pretty sad, actually. You know, sorry, I'm a little nervous. I didn't have enough wine. All right. <laughs> Some people feel a false sense of bravado on social media as they, uh, as they get to remain kind of anonymous hidden behind their computer screens. They think this gives them the license to say whatever they want. And in a sense, it kind of does, you know, it does. This is just part of the game we have been willing to play if we want large audiences, which we do. We want to be able to reach as many people as possible. The key is to make a choice right now not to get emotionally attached to these people or their comments. Just delete, ban, and move on. Wish them well, but don't interact with them. Now, there are times where this kind of, there's kind of a gray zone. Sometimes people say things on my like business page or my personal page that are negative and thoughtless, 
but I will leave their comments there and respond to them more as a way of teaching others on my page how to handle these situations. Since I post a lot of workout exercises and especially personal development content on my pages, I know that my posts may trigger some emotions and stir people's egos on occasion, so I do expect some resistance. Most of the time, I just delete negative, thoughtless comments that don't add value to my page, but occasionally I will leave them and call that person out to let them know that they are seen and that their sincere opinion is valued. But <laughs> you have to look at your business and personal pages as your storefront. You wouldn't allow negative, toxic people to walk into your store or place of business and start spewing and ranting and offending other customers. Your social media presence is a sacred environment. People are there to be uplifted and supported by you and to learn from you. Um, and when they see negative, toxic comments on your page, it undermines the sanctity of the environment. Be a leader for your fans and show them how to handle these situations gracefully. Yeah, that's hard to do sometimes when you, your knee-jerk reaction is to tell them to go to hell or worse, right? <laughs> Okay, so um, if being criticized by haters is your main roadblock in building your social media following, I encourage you to break through this and keep your focus on how utterly positive and amazing it is to have people all over the world who respect and follow your work. And you know, they benefit, the benefits far outweigh the drawbacks. So the beauty of social media is that you can attract, this is important, that you can attract the people who are truly aligned with your unique voice, mission, and mission, even if you're an introvert and have un uncommon beliefs, values, or are generally an eccentric character. I mean, you're gonna, it's like we heard on the call last week about um, your avatar and your personal, the person that you wanna talk to. You'll likely, <coughs> excuse me, you'll likely attract people who are similar to you. It's all about the law of attraction. And you'll find that this greatly energizes you to keep your daily commitment, <clears throat> commitment alive to your business and life goals. Now, <laughs> there will always be haters in our world. Out of all of my Facebook friends on my personal page and all the likes I have on my business page, I would estimate that about 99% of them are amazing, bright, engaged, positive people who want to change our world for the better and become healthier and live limitless life. Like I do. I can deal with the toxic 1% because I realize it's just part of the game <laughs> of online business and social media. I hope this helps you keep your focus in the right place and not to take it too personally when you get the rants and negative comments on your pages. And maybe some of you guys have not experienced this yet. Like I said, I have maybe one to two posts a, a month that I get some negative feedback on. So. Um, but when this happens, remember that you're likely doing something right. You're growing your page and you have an energy about you that is based on expansion, vision, and purpose. Don't ever let anybody change that. Okay. That is basically my thing. And I probably talked too fast, but I get like that. <laughs> it's okay. No, that, that's like super good. And I kind of... Um, want to give a like a little bit of a backstory if you don't mind about why I asked you to do this call so um when we started talking about the yoga retreat Catherine um sent me a message and she's like hey I just put this post up about my yoga thing and can you go check it out and I, I went and checked it out I was like oh my god it is amazing like it is so you and and I hope you don't mind me sharing this but she wrote back and was like, well, some people like private messaged me and said it was awful and TMI and all this stuff. And I'm like, no, like you need to do you and, and, you know, and she does it so well, but sometimes those people do like get to you a little bit, but like you said, you just have to keep going. And I think a couple of the really important things you said, hold on. I, um, I starred some things. Okay. The first thing I starred was. I love the fact that you said some of the stuff you just delete and block, get it out of there. Just, it just, it is like, just bye Felicia, you know, like see you later, whatever. But there are times when it works out in your benefit to kind of leave it up there. And if you have something like that, 
one of the first things that I would do, I had this happen to me, um, I mean, a few times this happened, but there was one time I can really remember that um, I had posted that I was eating macaroni and cheese, and I was like, this is going down, like, I don't care, whatever, and this girl, like, literally attacked me, and I think I came into the team page and said something about it, but I got everybody from our team went on there and kind of, I don't want to say attacked her, but told her that she, where to go. And that was the most amazing feeling. So if you ever have something like that happen and you're just like, I don't want to delete this, come to the team and say, Hey, can you guys come back me up? Because we're here for you. Um, and then the other thing was that I really liked is what you said about kind of like getting clear on your mission and your vision and what you want to do. Um, I was listening to, a, uh, I think it was Andrea Crowder talk about her mission statement for her business. And if you are so clear on that, then you, then these people cannot get in your way. And I'm one to, I'm sorry, I'm talking a lot. Um, but I'm one to say that for the first two or three years of my business, I let these people, and these were people that were kind of, that I thought were close to me get to me so bad. And I would sit there and argue with them on Facebook. I mean, we've all done it, you know, like argue about psychology, argue about this and argue about that. And in the, at the end of the day, like they're, they would never support me. So it wasn't even worth my time or, you know, the, the time that I spent arguing with them and the time that I spent worrying about it. So it's kind of that once you can get that mindset switch, um, then, then, then things start to come together better. So. Does anybody have any? Oh, go ahead. I agree with that completely. Um, a lot of times it's a little bit more painful when it is somebody that you know that makes rude comments on your posts because you're just kind of like, what? Why would you say that? You know, <laughs> like, why are you intentionally being hateful? So um, for those people, of course, I, I don't like to block my friends, especially those that I've known for a long time and everything. But I will like message them and just say, hey, thanks for your comment. But you know, my page is a place of business. So if you want to comment about something like that, go ahead and shoot me a private message so it's not out there, you know? And oh, okay, you know, that sort of thing. But I get some of my old high school friends, and it's been years, right, Tabitha? Like 20 plus years since we've been in high school. I've got a couple guys there, and I don't know if they're like after the silver foxes or what the hell's going on, but they always make just totally inappropriate comments. And I'm just like, why are you doing that? You know, so I'm like, okay, I'll hide that or delete that comment. And I'm just like, what are you doing? You can't do that. This is my business. You know, like, stop it. It's not like it's sexy and turns me on. So knock it off. But um, a lot of times, Tabitha, actually, I want to bring you into this because you had a post that you boosted that was an awesome post, but you got one really crappy, crappy comment on it, but it boosted your post to like 25,000 people. Do you remember that? I want to hear more about that. Yeah, actually it was, it was when I first started. Um, and it was, I had boosted it. So it was somebody I totally didn't even know. Um, and it was definitely a troll. Um, and it was actually, it was a video. It was a workout video. Um, and I can't remember which program it was, but it was, um, one of the programs. It was just kind of a boosting it to get it out there. Oh, um, 22 minute hardcore. And, uh, I, and the comment actually, and I'll, I'll say it, I, it kills me to say it again, but, um, commented that, um, I was a fat slob and, um, that it was that I was a disgusting person and shouldn't be doing and shouldn't be posting videos. Um, I of course blocked that person right away um, because I and um, reported them. But I had so many people comment after that um, just to keep going to just ignore that and you know this and that and the other. But um, it was it was amazingly hurtful. Um, and I even, I like took a screenshot of it, sent it to Catherine. I'm like, what the hell is this person doing? Um, and it, but it did kind of like it, like she said, it did boost my page a little bit more. Um, but it was quickly off of there also, um, because it was just, it was just hurtful and I didn't, and I didn't give energy to it. Yeah. I, I still remember it. I still think back to that every once in a while. And in fact, when Catherine started this call, that was the first thing I 
thought of this person and I feel bad for them um, that they have such a negative view on life. Um, the fact that I was working out um, to not be a fat slob um, should have been the, the key point. But um, yeah, they were very negative and you know, that's, it's too bad that they have such a, a, a wonderful life that they can just sit there and watch videos to comment on. Right. Well, and, and one of the positive things that did come out of that horribly negative experience for you was that you did get an overwhelming amount of people sending you positive positivity and love and, you know, rooting for you and everything else. And that guy was just, you know, get the hell away, you know, but so sometimes it is okay you know, when you get some kind of crazy troll person, but you are so right to have blocked him immediately because that, uh, that's no fun for anybody. I just think it, sh it shows so much that you did not let that bring you down because I feel like a lot of times that coaches in this business, they, they don't want to post anything out there because they're afraid of that happening, you know, or, or something like that happening. But you, when you realize that it's like Catherine said, like the 1%, you know, because we're, we're probably the light in so many people's Facebook statuses or whatever, because all of, we're probably the 1% in their Facebook statuses rather than, you know, this 99% that they see of negative shit. Sorry. Um, but it's true. And, and the, and just the fact that you didn't let that bring you down and you kept going is, is so awesome. And that's what it can be hard at times, but that's what you definitely have to do. Well, I just, I focus on the ones that send me the, you're an inspiration, you know, it's, it's wonderful seeing that you're doing this. I wish that I had that energy. It's like, uh, you can get it. Trust me. <laughs> I didn't have it either. <laughs> I love it. Um, and also when we kind of dial in on who we are trying to, to reach, like, um, finding that avatar, finding that Linda, you know, finding that person that you are talking to. Basically, I send out posts to me every day. You know, when I write a post or anything else, I'm talking to me because I'm talking to me a year ago. I'm talking to me two years ago. I'm talking to me three years ago because that's the type of person I want to bring in. And most of the time when you do that, what I've noticed and um, have been a coach, haven't been a coach for super long, but going on almost two years, and um, I have just noticed that it does bring in those types of people that can relate to you. But you know, as, you, as we all have our pages as public, because we want to reach more people and we don't want them to be like, I can't see their page, you know, that sort of thing. We do get the crazies. And so definitely don't focus on the nut jobs or the haters. You just gotta, is it that Taylor Swift song? Shake it off, <laughs> right? We're not a taco, not everybody's gonna like us, you know? <laughs> Um, Catherine, I just wanted to pop in here and say thank you for all that you shared. You were probably one of the most positive, most groovy persons I've ever met. And I like groovy people. So when I first met you, I was like, oh, this, this chick is rad. So thank you. Um, I mean, as far as creepers, like I still get creepers. I've had to block so many dudes on my live videos. I'm like, nope, sorry. Just on to the next, you know, and it just happens. It is what it is. And I had a guy make a comment because I was posting my accountability on social media and maybe he, no, he was a fellow coach and he's like, don't let social get caught up in social media and all this stuff. And I was like, this is my page. I'll say what I want to say. And that's the only time that I've ever said anything back. So if anything ever happens, just integrity and grace and gratitude, you know, cause mean people need you more than anything. So <laughs> Can I say something real quick? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. So um, I want to say it was like February or March, and I had sent Brandy a message about this. I had um, I had boosted one of my things, and somebody that I totally don't even know had went on to one of my private pages and taken one of my before and after pictures and threw it on there and said something about, it looks like you don't know what you're talking about or you don't know what you're doing or something like that. And how I responded was this. 
I went and I said, well, that was a really great picture, but that was when I very first started. So let me show you where I'm now. And so I showed where I was then and where I was now and the huge difference that there was and totally shut that person down. But um, there are those, there are really, <laughs> I get, like creepers on my thing that want to friend request me that I have no idea, like aren't even from this country, it's kind of like weird. Um, and sometimes I wonder if they're spam, but you never know. But, um, but that's how I responded to somebody when they thought that they were going to try to tear me down was I just totally just put a whole nother picture. Actually, I think I put three different pictures on there and it's like, well, this is what I look like now. And this is what has happened. And this is, you know, this is where I am. And, um, just, just totally shut it down. And the, the gal had no response. So there are haters, no matter what you do, but you just have to raise your head up. That's, I, I love anyway, that response so much. I love that when you have the opportunity to show somebody like kind of, you know, turn it around on them because they're trying to make you feel like crap and show you that this isn't working or whatever. You're like, yeah, well, look at this. It is. I mean, yeah, you just put them in their place. That's what that gray area is you know, where you can actually make, turn something positive into something horrible. So I think that's awesome. Make a great job. You definitely have to watch out for those, uh, just adding those like random, like guys that like credit for no, cause you don't accept them. Sometimes I just, like, am like accepting friend. When you send out a bunch of friend requests, it seems like more than come through. And every once in a while, Marianne, she'll laugh. Uh, she'll send me a message or like a screenshot. She'll be like, this guy is friends with you. Who is he? And I'm like, Oh, got to delete him. I don't know <laughs> because he's trying to friend request her. Um, but just watch out for those, especially the out of country or whatever, but that's a perfect way to combat a hater. And like I said, mine was, I feel like my haters have been a lot more personal and stuff. And when I finally realized to start arguing with them and stop trying to whatever, and just prove them wrong and show them what I've done, they shut up. And, and, you know, some of them came around, some of them didn't, it is what it is, but that's, that's perfect. I love that. And it is really kind of hard, no matter how tough your skin is, it is hard when you hear negative things coming back on you or written about you or you see them other places. I mean, you're human. Of course, we're, we're like, hello, what are you doing that? I don't deserve that. You know, I'm trying to help people. But um, you got to just understand that it, it's, it's a possibility and it's, it's a good possibility it's going to happen because the internet is full of bullies and um, they are. There's an issue with them and it's not with you. And by focusing on the people that we do want to help and the, the ideal customer, the ideal coach, um, the ideal person that you want to get to know, then we can just block those guys out, the, the creeps, the perverts, the nay naysayers, the, the bad mojo people, <laughs> just um, and focus on what we truly want to do, which is all about helping people to become healthier, happier, and whole. And by doing that, we have to just like delete, block, and ban, move on, right? So, well, just to add something like with what um, Mickey said it. Ashley touched on it. I even kind of said it. Um, when you get those haters, we're a team. Um, so if if you're if you start letting those negative thoughts get in there, reach out to your success partner. Reach out to the team. We'll get those negative thoughts right out of your head. Um, and you've got you've got somebody behind you always. Um, and, and Catherine and I bounce it off of each other all the time. I, I don't think there's a day that goes by that we're not message private messaging each other like 50 times. Um, but especially if stuff comes up, bounce it off of somebody go, am I being crazy? Is this insane? What am I reading this wrong? Whatever. Bounce it off of somebody. If, if you start getting those negative thoughts and you can't get them out, Push it, put, have somebody else help you get them out. Also, um, just always remember, this is your business. This is your business. This is your storefront. This is your brand. And you market it the way you're going to be marketing it. And you definitely don't want bad publicity on your storefront. So be aware of the negative posts or the different ones that you don't want to see on there. You don't want your friends or your, your potential clients and customers and coaches to see on there be aware of it and take action and um, 
either, you know, if they're a friend of yours, private message them and let them know that, hey, this isn't quite acceptable for my page or however you want to deal with it. Or if there's somebody you don't really know, you don't really care about, then, you know, get rid of them. But it is your business. It is your storefront. And you need to take care of it the way you see fit. So that's basically it. <laughs> I love it. Does anybody else have any questions or anything they want to add to this? All right, well, thank you all so very much for joining in on this call. I just want to remind you guys that you guys only have, you. I mean only, you have two days left to hit Success Club. That is so much time to get out there and help people. I know you can do it. There's a lot of people on my team, I know sitting at two and three. Um, get out there, follow up, help people, um, and end the month strong. Oh, somebody in a meeting? Oh, no, okay. Anyways, um, have a great night and we'll see you guys all on the board.